If you missed the top of the newscast, Scott showed us a really kind of cool weather photo for today. Yeah, it's cool. You don't want to look directly at the sun, as I found out today <laughs> when my wife hit a, <laughs> a tennis shot straight up and blinded me. Yes. And but, she won the point. And she won the point. But if that you was planned. <laughs> that's right. She knew what she was doing <laughs> because it, it's pretty interesting what the sun can do, isn't it? It, it really can. And it, there's a lot going on in the sky. A lot of folks just don't look up to check it on out. But going to meteorology school, we had to do that. I had a class where I had to look up at the sky all the time and talk about ice crystals and the different things that form in the sky. Well, this is a shot that was sent in to us. And it's a great shot here sent in by uh, Brian Rowland. Here you see the sun in the middle and you see this circle. And now many times we've seen a circle around the sun. That's the uh, what we call a the halo, a 22 degree halo, the angle from us to to the sun, uh, from the sun out to us to out here, that's 22 degree angle. And there's also a 46 degree angle a halo that can form as well. These are called sun dogs or perihelia, or sometimes called mock suns. So they get really bright sometimes, and people say, How come there's two suns in the sky? So that's why they were called mock suns. But what's interesting about this, those are fairly common optical phenomena, is this right here. This is called an upper tangent arc. And I can tell by looking at this photo, the sun's a little higher in the sky, of course, with the trees here. If it was down near the, the, the um, uh, down closer to the horizon here, this arc would be much more sharp right here. But as the sun goes up, this flattens out and lengthens like this. And it all has to do with the way that the sun is shining through ice crystals. These are hexagonal crystals. There's all kinds of things that can be in the sky. In fact, this photograph is pretty amazing. Here's one that was taken, and Noah put this one in. It describes all of the different things that are going on. Here's the sun rising. Here's that tangent arc we were talking about, the upper tangent arc. You see it's a little sharper here because the sun is just coming up. So this is the upper tangent arc. Everything listed in red is rather rare. Everything we just saw in that last picture is not as rare, but there's all kinds of arcs. There's one right in here. You've got the superlateral arc. The Sundex Perry arc, which is right in here, all these different things that can occur, and it's all having to do with the way and the angle that the sun is shining through those hexagonal ice crystals or the little columns that we call them there. And I don't think I can show you, actually, we'll show it right in here. This is what the ice crystals look like. So the sun shines through the end, we get this upper tangent arc right here. If it shines differently through it, we get all kinds of other arcs that we were looking at right here. So guys, there's lots of things that can happen in the sky. This picture is amazing, but the one we had sent in, the upper tangent arc, you don't normally see it. That's cool. That is cool. You know, I have that image burned on my retina too from earlier today. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. All right, we